What's up guys this is Root from Dark Army and today I'm going to teach you how to fetch data from the web and display it in our list view therefore making it dynamic. This is one of the best examples of a real world scenario where the client side or the app fetches the data from a server and displays it in the app. Also before we start you need to watch the static list view tutorial and read about json or javascript object notation as a prerequisite. I will post some links for the same in the description. Rather than creating a new project, we will make changes in the static list view project we did. As always, I'll make the changes and then explain them to save time. A few moments later. First thing is delete the array and add an empty array. Change the data source to new array. Add another state variable which we will use to determine what to show in render. Then add a new method component did mount. As the name says, it will be called after the view is rendered for the first time. Inside component did mount, you will find that we have another method called get the data. Let's see get the data first. Inside get the data, you will find a simple request sent to a JSON file I have uploaded to the repo over GitHub. This JSON contains array of objects with keys as display underscore string and values are names of Apple products. Our aim is to display these names in our list view rows. Once the request is successful, it makes a callback to this function with data from the response. Now that we have the data, we will assign it to our product array. Before we move on to setting the state, let's have a look at our render. As you can see, we are using a ternary operator to determine what to load. If true, it will load a blank view. If false, it will load the list view. There is a slight change in render row as this time we don't have an array of string but array of objects. So this time we want to load the values which have keys as display underscore string. Coming back to setting the state in component did mount. You will find that we are again setting the data source but with the new product array now and is loading is set to false which in turn will result in re-render and this time it will load the list view instead. So there you have it dynamic data list view. As always thank you guys for watching coming soon is async storage and navigation the easy way so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for more. This is Root and catch you guys later.